Pastors Chooks and Toyino Goye. Pastors Chooks and Toyino Goye are the lead pastors of Resurrection Life Church, Johannesburg, South Africa. They are passionate about building families and raising men and women who transform and uplift the standard of life in their communities through understanding and applying biblical principles. Pastor Chooks and Pastor Toyin frequently host workshops, seminars and conferences for transformation. Some of their programs include Kingdom Financiers conferences, Dream Achievers conferences, marriage enrichment courses and seminars, for wives only seminars, single ladies boot camps and limitless men seminars. They are the founders of the Power of Women Academy, a group mentorship for high impact women and host the annual Power of Women conferences and amazing Power of Women broadcasts. For more information, please visit www.idelight.co.za and www.reslife.org.za or WhatsApp plus 27814210835. Good evening, welcome. It's uh, another Thursday. We are on the amazing Power of Woman broadcast. I am Dr. Chucks Obina Ogoi here. Um, this broadcast is based on this book, The Amazing Power of Woman, Unlocking and Harnessing Her Power Within. I wrote this book a couple of years ago, um, uh, documenting the revelation that God had given to me on the power of the female image of God, which is woman. And God, God has used this book to bless lots of women around the world. And I want to encourage you, uh, if you haven't read this book, you need to read it. You're, you've got power. <laughs> woman, you've got power. And if you don't know the power you've got, you will not be able to harness it. You will not be able to uh, get a hold of that power and, and deploy that power. And what it means is that Somebody is coming to steal that power from you. You've got power in your spirit. You've got power in your soul. You've got power in your body. You've got power in your spirit, in your soul, in your body as a female image of God. And you need to know how to harness the power in your spirit, the power in your soul, and the power in your body. And, and use them for the purpose for which God gave them to you. There's a reason why God put that power in the spirit, in the soul, and in the body of the woman. There's a reason. And when the woman doesn't know how to harness the power that she has, the enemy hijacks it. And the enemy uses her own power to hurt her. Ask Eve. That's what happened to our mother Eve in the Bible. They, they, she didn't know that she had so much power. And the enemy targeted her and took that power from her by tre tre treachery, by deceit. The enemy took that power from her and then used that power against her and her husband. And they ended up uh, uh, becoming a slave of the devil, as it were. And they were sent out of the garden and they lost everything because that power was not used well. So we, we want to uh, uh, make sure that every woman out there knows their power and knows how to use their power. You've got power, you must know how to use your power. All right. And, and so tonight, we are sharing again the the women of the bible women of the bible we've been on this series for a while and we are looking at several women in the word of god uh how they use the power that god put inside of them that power that's in the spirit in the soul and in the body some women used it well and benefited their world other women allowed the enemy make them abuse that power and they ended up using that power to hurt their world they hurt humanity, they hurt their family, they hurt their communities because of the, the improper harnessing of the power they had. So when that power is not properly harnessed and, and protected and preserved, the enemy hijacks it and the enemy uses it to hurt the woman, to use, use it to hurt the woman's family, the woman's community, the woman's nation, even the whole of humanity, like Eve. You know, so... We, we, we are studying so many characters in the Bible. Today, today, we want to look at a very interesting woman. This woman is the only woman in the Hebrew Bible to reign as a monarch in Israel uh, or Judah. She's the only one. You know, all the other ones were either the wife of kings or, or you know, they were judges 
she's the only one who was a queen, a monarch queen in Israel or in Judah. You remember that Israel and in Judah splits. But she's the only woman. And who, who is this woman? Her name is Atala, Ata, Atalaya. <laughs> Her name is Atalaya. Her name is even difficult for me to pronounce. Her name is Atalaya. Atalaya. I, I heard a friend of mine leading prayers and, and, and demolishing the spirit of Atalaya one time, some time ago. And I thought, wow, who, who is this woman that, you know, uh, they're... They're, they're, they're praying against the spirit of Atalaya. The spirit of, so I had to go and study the spirit of Atalaya. Today I felt prompted in my heart to, to bring Atalaya to the fore today. She's the woman we are studying. Atalaya. Atalaya is, is the daughter of Ahab and Jezebel. Mm -hmm. She's the daughter of Ahab and Jezebel. So, so she was a princess of the northern kingdom. Uh, Atalaya was a very, very uh, 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 interesting character. She was wicked. Atalaya was wicked. Her reign was marked with wickedness and idolatry. She, she, she allowed the power that God has put inside of her as a woman be hijacked by the enemy to do evil, to do wickedness. You know, and, and this is what we're saying. You, your power can be yielded to God and God will use it for his own purposes. Like he used Mary to birth the Messiah in the world. Like he used uh, 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 Sarah. Or you can, you can without you uh, uh, knowing it, yield that power to the enemy and the enemy now uses it to destroy people. So what we want to look at today is this woman and learn one or two things from her. How if you don't know your power and you don't harness your power, the enemy will hijack it and use it to hurt other people and use it to destroy people. Listen, the power in your spirit, the power in your soul, the power in your body can build, can, can build empires, can build Formidable dreams and structures in the earth can build the purposes of God, can, can deliver the agenda of heaven on the earth. You can actually be used as a, a vessel to bet heaven on the earth, to bet the agenda of the Father on the earth. Now, you can also, by ignorance or by rebellion or by stubbornness, yield the same power to the enemy, and the enemy now uses it to unleash wickedness on humanity. Atalaya allowed her power to be hijacked by the devil. And the devil used her to, to, to finish people. She, she killed so many people. She, she did horrendous things while sitting on that throne. She did horrendous things. Instead of her to sit on the throne and use her power and her influence to better the nation, to lift up the nation, to lead the people in the things of God, in the ways of God. Instead, because she did not yield her powers to God, the enemy hijacked her power, and the enemy used her power to hurt people. So, her husband died. She was married to a king, and her husband died. When her husband died, her son took over. And her son... Uh, 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 his name is Ahaziah, ruled for a little while, maybe just, just around a year or under a year. While, you know, he was ruling, a, 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 a man by the name Jehu came and slaughtered her son. And, and Ahaziah was assassinated. When that happened, hmm, Atalai, Atalaya became angry. Atalaya went on a rampage, including killing her own grandchildren. <laughs> her own grandchildren. She was so greedy for power. She was so greedy for, for uh, uh, political power that she was willing to do whatever that, is, that comes to her mind that is possible to be done to retain power. So she was killing Everybody, she killed her own grandchildren. 
that's how wicked she was. You know, when, when a person is intoxicated with the spirit of selfishness, that they are willing to exterminate anybody, they are willing to eliminate anybody, they are willing to, to do anything to retain power. Ah! What people can do with power, or do for power, right? They are willing to, to retain uh, 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 power at all costs, at all costs. This was Atalaya. Atalaya slaughtered and slaughtered and slaughtered. I want to ask you a question. The power that God gave you as a woman, are you using it to build up? Are you using it to slaughter? Are you, building, are you using it to build up? Are you using it to slaughter? You know, we, we, we even make, you know, a, a jest of that, that, that capacity to slaughter. We say, no, they are slain. They are slain. They are slain. You are not supposed to be slaying anybody. You are supposed to be making a life. You have, you have been given the, the, the life-given spirit to breathe life in systems, to breathe life into dreams, to breathe life into communities, not to slay, not to kill, not to slaughter. To, for a woman, see, you are not supposed to be a slave queen. To slay, to slay, slay, cut their head, cut, no, no, this is, this is an abuse of the power that God gave you. This is abuse of the power. So, so when you are, you are, for instance, you know, dressing to leave your house, are you, are you dressing to kill? Are you dressing to slay? You know what you're wearing is indecent. You know what you're wearing is going to be causing problems in the heart of men who are looking at you, but you want to slay. That's Atalaya. That's Atalaya's spirit. Atalaya wanted, Atalaya's spirit wants to kill. Atalaya's spirit wants to kill. To, it doesn't matter what happens to the other person. I just want to have my way. And, and if, they, if I need to eliminate them, so be it. That's Atalaya's spirit. So be it. And, you know, whenever you are not using your power right, you are opening that power to be hijacked by the enemy to do wrong with it. Let me say that again. If you're not using your power right, you are giving Satan the permission to hijack that power to do wrong with it. Your power, your, the power in your body is not for seducing people. It's not for slaying. It's, it's for honoring your husband. Let me say it again. It's for honoring your husband. It's not for slaying people. It's for building up. Your power, the power of beauty, the power of charm, the power of gorgeousness is for using it to build up your husband. It's for edifying your husband, not to edify other men, everybody. No, it's for edifying a single man, your husband. And if you are not married, then you must manage that power well. It's not for slaying. It's not for, you know, uh, 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 pulling people down. No, Atalaya was a slave a slay queen. She slay, literally, she was killing people. She, she slaughtered people. She, she, she got rid of people so that she can have her way and maintain the throne. Don't be an Atalaya. So when we talk about the spirit of Atalaya, we're talking about the spirit that, that destroys people to have its way. The spirit that destroys people to have what he wants to have. You know, you know, many years ago, I worked with a certain lady who felt that she was beautiful and she used, she used to boast there is no office anywhere in this world that if she wants to go in there, she cannot go in there. There's no space that she wants to go in and she cannot go in there. In fact, you know, she knows how to, to slay people. She knows how to get rid of anybody who stands in her way. She used to boast about it. She used to boast about it. That, you know, you know when, when, when even when they make uh, the, the comment that they say a woman is drop dead gorgeous, why does your beauty have to drop people dead? Why does your, your appearance, your manifestation have to drop people dead? Why? Why? You see, so, so we, we know that God wants you to use the power he has given to you for edification, for building people up, 
for increasing people, for, for funding dreams, for supporting dreams, for, for sponsoring great vision, great agenda from heaven, not to be an Atalaya. The spirit of Atalaya is the spirit that destroys people. It's the spirit that, that, that inflicts wounds on people, that inflicts wickedness on people. Don't, don't allow the spirit of Atalaya attach to you. Mm -mm. You're a child of God. You're a woman of God. Don't allow the spirit of Atalaya to take over the power that God has given to you. Now you are killing instead of making a life. Now you are bringing down instead of lifting up. Now you are destroying instead of building. Lord, the, your power has been given to you for building, not for destroying. For encouraging, not for dis discouraging. For uplifting, not for dragging people down. So ask yourself, in the way you're going about pursuing this dream, are you, are you, are you building the people around you or you are slaying them or you are destroying them? Many women have destroyed men. Look at Jezebel. Jezebel, Jezebel destroyed her husband. Mm -hmm. Look at, look at Samson and Delilah. Samson was brought to, to, to penury, to ruin. Samson was destroyed by Delilah. Do not, do, do not be a Delilah or an Ataliah. Mm -mm. Use your power. Use your power to fund the gospel. Use your power to sponsor dreams from heaven, visions from heaven. Not build people up, not bring them down, not bring regret, not destroy hopes. There are many young, young ladies who are going about destroying homes, destroying the marriages of other women. Why what, don't you see single men to date? Must you go to date a married man? Must you do that? That's the spirit of Atalaya. You are destroying marriages. You are destroying homes. Don't do that. See, allow the spirit of God to work with the power he has put inside of you to birth big things, to birth the agenda of God in the earth, to birth the move of God in the earth. To birth the, the things that are in the mind of the Father. Don't be an Atalaya. So Atalaya, you know, was slaughtering her grandchildren. And a woman, <laughs> a woman by the name Jehosheba, managed to find a, a little boy by the name Joash and hid that boy for for six years in the temple. For six years. And when, when, when Joash turned seven, the Lord organized the priests and the Levites and they went after Athaliah and got rid of Athaliah and installed Joash as the king of Israel. He, he is still the, the youngest king that Israel, I think he ascended the throne at age eight. So, so God had to raise people who attacked Athaliah. It was, it was like a coup. And they got rid of Ataliah, and Joash could fulfill his destiny. Don't be an Ataliah that people are wanting to get rid of you because you are destructive. You come into the business, you're destructive. You come into a family, you are destroying things there. Ask yourself the question, am I using my power to build up or am I using my power to destroy? Ask yourself that question. The effect I'm having on these people, is it for their edification? And for, your, for their growth, or is it for their detriment? Ataliah destroys. You are a woman of God, you build up. Ataliah brings down. You are a woman of God, you, you lift up. Be a, dream, be a dream encourager. Be a dream champion, a dream sponsor. Not the one that hacks dreams and, and brings dreams down and shuts people down. Always ask the question, what effect am I having? On the people around me, on the man in on the man in my life, am I helping him to grow, or am I slashing his self-esteem? Am I slashing his self-worth? Am I with my mouth, with my attitude? That's a, the spirit of Atalaya. You're not a killer. You're not a murderer. You're not. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You are not a bulldozer that bulldozes things. No, you that brings things down and destroys things. You are a woman of God that builds up. You're a woman of God that encourages people. You're a woman of God that helps people fulfill their dreams. That's, 
what God wants you to do with the power he has given to you. Your power in your spirit, the power in your soul, the power in your body. The power in your soul, that is your intellectual capacity, your, 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 your mind, your emotion. Those are, those are the, the, the channels through which that power comes out on your soul. Let your, let your power be used for building up, not for pulling, pulling down. God bless you. I hope you got something. I, I like you to, you know, read the story of Ataliah in, in 2 Kings chapter 8, verse 16 to chapter 11, verse 16. Chapter, 2 Kings chapter 8, 16 to chapter 11, verse 16. Or 2 Chronicles chapter 22, verse 10 to 2 Chronicles chapter 23, verse 15. You can find also stories in 2 Kings chapter 9, verse 2. And... Um, 2 Chronicles chapter 22, verse 10 to 23, verse 21. I, 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 I want to leave it there for tonight. Atalaya's spirit will not operate around you, will not operate through you, will not operate in you. You will not operate anywhere around you. You are a builder, not a destroyer. Let me say it again. You are a builder, not a destroyer. God bless you. I'll see you next time as we continue the amazing Power of Woman broadcast. Good night. Bye-bye. The Single Ladies Boot Camp is a program for single ladies from all ages and backgrounds run by Pastor Chooks and Toy Nogoye. Many unmarried women are frustrated, either sitting on the singles bench or struggling in difficult relationships. Why the vicious cycle? Are relationships supposed to be frustrating, painful, hurtful, often going nowhere for years? Women start questioning the existence of good men and of love itself. Some even come to the point of giving up on the idea of marriage altogether. The Single Ladies Boot Camp is run over a weekend and throughout the sessions, ladies are able to explore and learn the principles that govern relationships and biblical standards for relationships. The Single Ladies Boot Camp also teaches how to attract what you are looking for, as well as answering the questions, is there anything wrong with being single? Why do you really want to get married? Why are you not married yet? How do I find a husband? How do I deal with the frustration of waiting to be found? These are all valid questions that single women ask themselves and often break themselves down in trying to answer them. The Single Ladies Boot Camp will answer all those questions and more, giving women a change in perspective, direction and hope for the future. Pastor Chooks and Toyo Nogoye are the lead pastors at Resurrection Life Church Johannesburg where they place a strong emphasis on family and relationships. Their expertise on relationships has helped hundreds of singles and couples over the years build strong and lasting relationships and or fixing broken ones through their Singles Ignition Seminars, Single Ladies Boot Camp, Marriage Seminars, Workshops and Conferences. They are the founders of the Power of Woman Academy and the conveners of the annual Power of Woman Conference Pastor Chooks is the author of the best-selling book, The Amazing Power of Woman. Pastor Chooks and Toyin have been married for over 20 years, and it is their many years of experience in building their own marriage and in third-party marriage interventions that has equipped them with vital wisdom that they put together in these events. For more information, visit www.slbc.co.za or WhatsApp 081-421-0835.